Okay, we are over here where they're starting to build a pond and you see all of the plastic. Listen carefully because somewhere over there is a frog. I keep hearing it. And you're learning about frogs this week and frogs lay eggs in the water and then the eggs turn into baby what? If you said tadpoles, you were correct. And look right here down in this water. What do you see? All of those are tiny little tadpoles. You see them? They look like, well their body's not even as big as an eraser on the end of your pencil and then they have the little tail. And they're just swimming all around and they'll get bigger and bigger until they turn into a frog. And I'm hoping that the mommy or daddy frog around here will make some noise because I just heard them a minute ago. I hear one in the distance. Did you hear it? Okay, maybe we'll hear more frogs later. Okay, boys and girls, we are over at one of the ponds here, and there are some large fish in there. My husband, he works here, and he's got some fish food in his hand, and he's going to throw some fish food out. So let's watch the water. And there you see him coming for the food. Oh, look how the sunlight is dancing on the water. Isn't that pretty? We have some plants in this pond. We have water lilies there in the middle around that pretend alligator. And they will make flowers like pink and white and purple flowers. Are there any other colors? Maybe yellow? Uh, yellow, uh, pink, orange, red. Oh, really? Orange? Okay. Mm -hmm. So later this summer, the water lilies will have flowers. Mm -hmm. And then over here is an interesting kind of plant. What did you say this one's called? It's called horsetail rush. Horsetail rush. And look at it. It kind of looks like a horse's tail, I guess. It's long and skinny. I kind of think it looks like a vegetable. It kind of looks like asparagus. And boys and girls, we have the uh, water, uh, actually, iris, uh, different kinds planted all around. That's a hardy plant and then uh, it's going very early in the spring. So have viruses already bloomed around the ponds or mm -hmm. they're going yes. to bloom? They've already well, well, some have. Okay. And I love the sound of the water from the waterfall. That is so cool. Alright, we're going to go take a look at one more pond that has even more fish. Okay, we are at the largest of the ponds here. 
And if you're enjoying this, you can come to Sandy Ridge Road. This is where my husband works and my brother works. It's really cool. And you can walk around and look at the pond. There's also a pond they built in downtown Kernersville at a little park there. That would be fun to go to. You can see all the waterfalls back there. I love the sound. And down here we have lots of friendly fish. They just see us standing here and they are waiting on the food. So I'm going to take a step back and Mr. Roman's going to throw out some food. And look at all the little goldfish that will come up too. Yeah. Here they come. From all corners of the pond. Look at the fish, how shimmery they are. Here's some little goldfish again. Fish have scales. I don't know if it shows up on the video. You can see the little tiny shimmery scales. They're so beautiful. You can even hear them sucking up the food. water lilies. Yeah, we have a blue. Look at that. And let's see if Mr. Roman can fix the swan that's tipped over. Yeah, they have pretend animals out here. So we have the pretend alligator and the pretend blue here and here we have a swan. Let's see if he can fix it. It got tipped over. Probably the wind the other night. There you go. Yay! Oh, cute. That swan can just float around in the water. So many plants that like to live near water and they do really well all around the edges of the pond, tucked in amongst the rocks. The fish like to hide under the ones that float in the water like the water That's lilies. That's a rock, boys and girls, right there. Yeah, a bubbling rock. Out of that and the, the steer over there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they've learned the word sphere. We have a sphere shaped bubbling rock there. Water comes up through it. I think my favorite fish of all is this one coming toward us right here, this bright yellow one. Can you see the scales? And the fins. Aren't they beautiful? These are koi. Do they have a special name? The koi fish? Are there a special type of koi? Uh, butterfly. Some of them which have the long fins and, okay. and blowing tail. So that yellow one that was real pretty that just passed by, that would be the butterfly koi? And over here, just has the regular little V shape in the thing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little virtual tour of some koi ponds and learned a little bit about some fish and frogs and plants that like to be at ponds. Alright, bye bye, mini mountaineers.